Hello everyone, today we're going to try bakmi mewah rasa bakmi goreng bulgogi bulgogi bokumnya tebak masih soyo okay, let's try if you open the packaging, then you'll find the noodles also, seasoning package including this sauce and also, I think, the bulgogi so interesting so as usual, boil some water. We're gonna put the noodles when it's boiled and for two minutes only. We'll dry it, we'll mix everything and then stir it. Okay, so the last one that we should put is the bulgogi meat and the chili powder. Okay, noted. Let's go! Two minutes! First, put the seasonings. Next, add the soy sauce, sweet soy sauce, which have manis. There's quite a lot of seasonings here. I suppose it is time to turn on the stove. Then move the noodles to the plate or bowl. And then mix it well. And then, we need to put the meat and the chili powder though. I'm not gonna put the chili powder first, just to taste it if it's not spicy. So here we go, it says it's been sterilized with high technology. Means they don't use any preservatives. This explains why this will expire in like 2 months from where I'm taking this video. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so it turns out there are quite a lot of meat and also onion there. You just need to scoop it up with your spoon. Glad that I use spoon for this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another taste test. They were trying this bulgogi noodles. I haven't mixed in the chili powder just to taste it without. I'm so curious, you know, why would a bulgogi noodle use sweet soy sauce, which is Indonesian traditional thing, while bulgogi is like Korean thing. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I already took a piece of meat there. We'll try. Actually, tastes pretty good. I mean, I, if I didn't know there's soy sauce, sweet soy sauce in it, then I wouldn't know. Probably, <laughs> it's been mixed well. However, I think we do need the chili there. Okay. There's a ton of chili there. I already saw the chili. Oh. I don't it's not too strong for me, the chili. Okay now. When you pour down a pack of chili they will have like some floating around and it smells like chili of course. <laughs> Super spicy and yeah. It kinda looks super spicy though now. I'm eating it in the middle of the night. I hope I don't cough and wake up everyone in the house. Let's try one more time. I don't think it's that mixed, but you know. Let's try. I 
had faith kind of taste okay I just don't think it's the perfect match or am I mixing it too late for the chili powder because it tastes like it's separated but it's still good I think it needs a little bit more saltiness to the chili powder. All done, nice and clear with nothing on. Straight to the rate things, yeah. I would really rate this like 7.9 actually. It has good amount of meat. It tastes pretty good. I just disagree with the chili. If you were to give a pinch of salt to every pack of chili, I think that would be great, way better, you know. And the chili does, just doesn't blend in. You know, when I poured it, I thought there's a strong smell of chili, so I thought, oh, this will be so spicy. When I ate it, I didn't feel spiciness. I feel bitterness, kind of. So, yeah, the chili is the one that's dropping the ratings, but however, it is a good meal. You have half meat, and you have onion, and you know, it's kind of nutritional compared to any other noodles, yeah, and you can really see it. Also, it's beef. <laughs> I just read it just to make sure. It's beef, you know? You can't just buy beef for 3,000 Yeah, and these noodles as far as I remember it's like around 10,000 So it's like, you know, you already contain everything You have to practice quality of just pouring noodles and pouring this Okay, thank you so much for watching We'll see you next time, whatever I make Please like and subscribe Bye